What's up, YouTube? Uh, my name's Ma. This is my first Stay in that bitch. Stay in that bitch. Stay in that bitch. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Molly checking in with another video. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? I know it's been a long time. It's been about a month since I dropped the last video, but um, I really ain't had, well, I had a little bit to shoot, but the weather been crazy. We had that little ice storm last week uh, on top of, you know what I'm saying, on top of like, I've just been working six days a week. I ain't really got time to do nothing, you know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, y'all know what it is, bro. The true followers know what it is. Y'all know I work a real nine to five, driving trucks. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, man, today, today. God damn, the BBW needs some love, man. Um, so I, I've been having a little issues with the, with the fuel pressure. I mean, not the fuel pressure, with the oil pressure. Um, like it, uh, I'd be warming the truck up or whatever. It'll start with oil pressure and then a couple cases it dropped to zero. Um, sometimes it'll stay, you know, up at 40. So it goes back and forth. So, uh, Brad, my, my boy, he told me that they, that the O-ring around the pickup tube is notorious for going out. And I hope that's my case. Cause that'll be a cheap fix which I already got it. But the whole thing is you gotta drop the whole oil pan to get it. And if you don't angle that pickup tube, putting it back in right, you'll be doing the job again. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's a 01 GMC Yukon 5.3. This thing got 200 and some change on it, like 260, 250. So I'm just trying to make it last. It's really, oh yeah, I got to tell y'all, I LLC my lawn service, so it look like I'm getting the lawn service back going. Uh, so if you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, you need lawn service or whatever, hit me up. Um, but pretty much the Yukon is about to be donated to the lawn service and Strictly Lawns, that's it. So, um, yeah, and I just been daily in Black Sheep, but like, she been running so good. You know what I'm saying? I just been daily in her. Uh, she really just need to go to the paint shop. You know what I'm saying? I'm not messing with the motor no more or nothing. I really just got to send this car to the paint shop. I did do something to Molly G that I'm going to drop a video over, and I already got the video in the works, but as y'all can see, I finally got a hood. You know what I'm saying? I really want a cow hood for this car, like a little two inch. When I get my paper right, I'm gonna order it. I know the hood is off a little bit, but I don't really care. It's better than the white hood, the stock hood that was on there because it was creased in two sections. This one's creased too, but it's not as bad. I'm gonna try to save it and see if I could get it welded. Uh, and then y'all know I dropped another door on there, but still gotta do some stuff to that door. But yeah, uh, what else, what else I got for y'all? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got some stickers. I got some stickers, so, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want some stickers, just let me know. Uh, I got shirts too, and I dropped the shirts in there. Uh, that's my Instagram, you know what I'm saying, so. Y'all in with me or whatever. I appreciate y'all staying locked in with me. Everybody that's been subscribing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, man, I ain't going to talk too much longer. Let me go ahead and get everything I need, and I'm going to turn y'all back on. All right, all right, I'm checking in. So um, so pretty much, like I said, you got to uh, get up under here. You got to... Best thing to do is to drain your oil. That's not oil. That's brake fluid or brake cleaning because obviously you can see 
I got a bad oil leak. And I think it's coming from the rear main seal or the oil pressure sensor that's way behind the intake. But I think it's the um, rear main seal because I've checked that, that sensor before. But anyway, yeah, so y'all see, uh, you pretty much want to drain the oil um, first. You know what I'm saying? I already did that. Then you got like a little... You got this cross member right here. Oh, let me zoom out, my bad. So you got this cross member right here that has really four bolts. Uh, as you can see, is one, two, three, four on the other side. Um, I know some trucks, I think the steering shaft go through there or something. So you gotta do a little bit more to get it up out of there. But luckily I don't have that. So it was just four bolts and it dropped out. So now, let me get up under here a little bit more. Um, you see your wires up, up there. Uh, so you want to, they kind of like clamp, not clamp, but they got like a little plastic fitting that you want to do. And then you could drop them. And then you just get all your oil, oil pan bolts. And it should drop out. So, uh let me undo all of that stuff if i run into something crazy i'll cut y'all back on of course you gotta move remove this sensor and then so yeah as y'all can see i got a major oil leak but this this motor it been had an oil leak even when i bought the car uh they said that they took it somewhere to try to get it fixed and they didn't do it they didn't fix it so uh i never pulled the motor like I said, it got 250 or 60,000 on it, so I'm just trying to keep it going until I replace it. And then I might go 6 0 or something like that. But yeah, so let me undo that and then I'm going to check in with y'all in a minute. All right, so I'm checking in with y'all. As y'all can see, I've been under here working. So pretty much it's just like, I think it's like 15 bolts. 15 bolts or something like that. So I already took them out. I ain't want to bore y'all watching me take off the oil pan. Literally, you just follow the bolts around the outside of it and you should be able to get it. Now it's time to drop it. Hopefully. All right, so y'all see I done dropped the oil pan. I don't even know if this on video, right? The angle I'm at, but y'all see I dropped the oil pan. Got all the bolts out. So you got the bolts that go around the pan and then you got these two in the back. Those were the last two to hold me up. So um, that's your oil pickup tube right there. Uh, and this, just inspect the screen. There's a screen inside of there. There's a screen inside of there. You know what I'm saying? So, but the issue is that up there so it's an o-ring that go around the bottom piece of that up there and that's what usually goes bad and makes the oil the oil pressure not read right or something like that so yeah but like I said this is the inside of your 5.3. So, let me get this pickup tube off of there. 
And I believe it's just that one bolt that's right there where my finger is. I think it looked like a 10 millimeter or eight or something like that. Then we're gonna pull that pickup tube out of there. See what's good. I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so pretty much just my luck. So this is what I was checking for. Hopefully it was gonna be a crack or something in in the um, this O-ring. Hopefully it was gonna be loose or something, you know what I'm saying, messed up or something like that. But I mean, I feel like I feel like that's still a good O-ring, which is kind of a bad thing because now is something else, the reason why my oil pressure is not what it's supposed to be. And I feel like whatever else it is, is gonna require me having to pull this motor or doing a lot more work. So what I'm gonna do is since I bought an extra O-ring and I bought the new pickup tube and it comes with the O-ring, I'm gonna save this new pickup tube and I'm just gonna replace the O-ring and put the old pickup tube back in there, uh, the, uh, the oil pickup tube back in there and see what it does and just go from there because <clears throat> like I said, that's still in, to me, that's still in decent shape. You know, it's not missing any chunks out of it. It's not ripped or nothing like that. So, whatever it else it is, is just what it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that pickup tube back in there. And it's not hard. It's only three bolts. Um, one right there, one right there and one right there. And I'll show you once I get back under the car. So, check in with y'all in a minute. All right. <clears throat> so, as y'all can see, went on ahead and put the new O-ring on there. Hopefully this fix it, but my luck, probably not. We're gonna see though.
Oh, shit. All right, guys. So, like I was telling you, it's only three bolts. This one right here. You got one on that side. And then you have the one up in there. Trying to get the focus up in there. You got to kind of make sure you put it at an angle to get that O-ring in there right. So you don't rip your new O-ring. Um, but yeah. So now all I'm going to do is got to clean up the surface around the block get it very very clean as I was instructed um, as well as the surface on the oil pan pretty clean so I could get a good seal on it so hopefully this oil pan don't leak um, and we gonna go from there so I'm checking in with y'all in a minute I gotta make a trip to AutoZone too cause I forgot an oil pan gasket so I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute All right, man, I'm checking in with y'all. This is actually the next day. And my bad if y'all can't hear me, but you got them guys over there cutting stuff. Um, and you got helicopters flying. It's just loud today. So uh, anyway, this is the next day. Got a new gasket or whatever. So I'm about to go ahead, put a little silicone on them four corners under here. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where you got to put it at. Pretty much, you want to make sure both sides are oil free. You want to put silicone right there, up in here, right here. Pretty much on uh, all four corners. That the gasket not going to get to. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Cut y'all back on this. All right, so most of the boats are going to be torqued down to uh, um, 18, 18 foot pounds. And then you got the two skinny ones that's in the back. They got to be uh, torqued down to 106 inch pounds. So I have to go get another torque wrench. So... You just do it. You don't go in a specific sequence. You just work your way, work your way inside out. Alright, yeah, so checking in with y'all. Uh, I feel like I torqued everything down the way everything was supposed to be torqued down. But knowing my luck, I'm probably still going to have an oil leak. Um, I didn't put the cross member on there because, like I said, I'm not sure if what I did will totally fix it, which means that if me replacing that o ring didn't fix it, then. Uh, the oil pan I have to be coming back off so taking off the cross member will be one less step like my boy Brad told me so 
I didn't put the cross member on there, but I am going to give it like an hour or so to set. Then I'm going to fill it up with oil and crank it and see if it fixes my problem. So um, always remember, fill your oil filter up with oil before, with like when you do your oil changes, everything, fill your oil filter up with oil first. And then, you know, uh, put oil in the car or whatever. So just make sure you do that. So I'm about to clean up my mess a little bit and then I'm going to tap in with y'all once I get ready to start it. All right. Alright, it's been about an hour or so, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with oil. See if I get, get a good place to sit, y'all. There we go. Fill it up with oil, see what it do. I said I already filled my oil filter up with oil and put that on at the bottom. Got my, got my oil in there, the STP 530, nothing special. Uh, all right, I got my oil in there, I got all my oil in there. Uh, let's see what it's gonna do, man. So it wouldn't do it all the time though. It wouldn't drop to zero all the time. Like some days it'd be good, some days it wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I mean, from what it looked like now, I mean, it looked like it's fixed, but like I said, it didn't do it all the time. So I'm just gonna have to keep up with it and see, see what it do. Um, Shit, that could have been my problem, but like I said, man, I'm not sure. Just one of the cheaper things to fix and one of the easier things to do, so I did it. Uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all tapping in with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Next video, hopefully I'll be sanding that hood down and sanding that door down that's on uh, on Molly G. And we're going to go from there. But, um, yeah, y'all stay locked in with me, man. Check in with y'all later. Bye.